Hey guys, it's Daphne, Mama Metzger, back with another update. Um, guys, y'all, this is like the third time I've recorded this. It's going rough, y'all. It's going rough. So, hopefully, third time's a charm and we'll get this going. So, I don't really have a whole lot of life updates besides the fact that Arizona is thinking about having monsoons. Monsoons is my favorite season and kind of like hmm, today I'll be monsoons and tomorrow I won't but it's kind of it's we've had consistent rains the last few days so it's been really nice so other than that there's really not a whole lot of updates um so we'll move into FFOs because I don't have any FOs this week I have FFOs so check it out I am super stoked y'all I am in love with this thank you Priscilla and Chelsea for showing us how to do this because it's amazing. Um, so I made the bow. I tied it up with um, twine string. These are pieces off of an old dingy wreath that I kept around. The pine wreath. And it had these on it and little apples. And so I plucked them off and put them in a drawer for <laughs> use in the future. Because, you know, hoarding craft supplies. So, but yes, I am super excited. It's my first piece for Christmas that I have finished cross stitch wise. I am super excited to hang it up this year. For Christmas. So there it is. Super excited. Yes. Okay. I have two more. Can you believe it? Two more, y'all. Two more. Okay. So this is the first one. You can kind of see some of my imperfections because they get better as you go, right? But we'll start. Let's see. Can you see it? So it's you I like. Nice little scissor fob. I did the beading. Hubby took me to the store. Helped me get some some beading pliers and all the stuff I needed and kind of helped me get started. I really, really enjoy doing it. Um, and I've cut enough of these wooden spindles to last me a while, so might as well, right? So here's the second one. It came out much better. The first one came out fantastic, don't get me wrong, but this one did go a lot easier and I thought it came out a lot nicer. So there's the It's You I Like and the beading. So there's that. So yes, Three FFOs. Woohoo! I feel accomplished. So, anyways, there's those. Okay, let's move into whips. You ready? We'll whip, 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 whip. Okay, so I don't remember. Oh, this was for extra credit. I did two extra credit assignments. I believe one was for something with a feather, which the feathers are up here, and or a bird, and uh, there's a bird, and there's a bird. And then I did it for the one with orbs or, you know, circles, I guess. And there are snitches on here. So that works. Um, but I did get Ron Weasley's sweater in, the letter in, whatever the squiggle is supposed to be, partial of these potion bottles. I don't have the color for whatever reason for the center. Started the broomstick. And I'm pretty sure that this is supposed to be wood and this is supposed to be Cedric Diggory. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. And then I started the basilisk. Now, y'all, I'm not too far from a page finish, so I've got to get this basilisk in. I believe Moaning Myrtle starts like right here. And then the the uh, horns, the antlers, excuse me, antlers for the stags start right here. And that's the end of that page. And then it can be a page finish. And y'all did not get this done in time for anniversary. Seems is how it is Sunday, y'all. Sunday. This is not getting done by Sunday. Sorry, hubby. It's coming. It'll get done. I am using it. I am opting out of the homework this week because I don't have red metallics and I could make like one of the assignments fit and I thought I can make this fit for another two homework or extra credit assignments. So that's what I'm going to do. So more progress on this for next week. Should have another thousand stitches at least in this for next week. So I worked on that. And then I worked on Liberty Lane. I don't remember what it was for. It was for the week previous. I don't remember what it's for. But I got in that flower pot and I started that border down at the bottom. And then I've gotten pretty bad about not showing you guys what it's supposed to look like. So there is the pattern. But I am doing the Priscilla, Priscilla's conversion because I like the more bright colors. So there's that. 
Okay, I also started, I showed you the pretty fabric last week, and I am sorry, I don't have a pattern to show you because it's on my phone. So it will say, Beware the Smiling Dungeon Master, and it'll have a dragon at the bottom. Um, but this is what, so we had to do stuff for Dolores Umbridge as her ink color. So we had to do, I think we were supposed to do a thousand stitches in black. I think I got like 300 or something like that in, so I'll still get three points. Um, but there's that. I think that that scroll work at the top is real, real pretty. Um, but this has to be done for Christmas, y'all. It is a Christmas present. So maybe I should get the pedal to metal and sit in my lazy boy and get to working, right? Right? I think it's a good idea. All these rainstorms, maybe we'll just school the kids in the morning and then I'll sit and stitch the rest of the afternoon to the rain. I think it's a fantastic idea. Anybody have a house elf they want to lend me? Anybody? Maybe? Okay. Anyways, that's all I have for whip updates. I do have a little bit of haul. Um, so we had that it's an Instagram, Instagram thing where you would put a thing up and said, if you respond to this, I'll pick my favorite picture and I'll post it. And then you have to do the same. So this is one of the ones that I found on my, one of the ladies that posted on mine that she wanted me to do it. I scrolled through and she had this and it was fabulous, framed and beautiful. And so I was like, man, I have to have that. So I ran down to one, two, three stitch, found it, put it in my cart, figured I'll buy it in a couple days. A couple days rolls along, man, y'all. It was sold out. I think everybody on Instagram had the same idea. They were like, I want that pattern. So the second it came back into stock, I bought it. And I bought all the threads. Not going to start it till next year. Um, but I already do have the Monaco for it. So I am going to tea, tea and coffee dye the Monaco so it looks old and dingy. And then I am for Arizona, which is way down over here. I am going to find a petite uh, treasure braid gold to do Arizona in. So there's that. And then because no pattern can travel alone, I grabbed Cross Stitch Nation, which I mean, I've kind of eyeballed it quite a bit. And I was like, hmm, that sounds like fun. But here's what I'm thinking. Well, one, I think I'm going to take this guy right here and I'm going to convert him to me. He's super tall like me. And yes, I wear dresses. So don't get me wrong, but I'm more comfortable in pants. I think he would be real easy to convert to a pair of skinny jeans and converses and put some hair on him. And then I'm hoping I convince some of my stitchy friends and they can cross stitch themselves on it because I will do all the border work and just leave the people open and maybe they can do themselves on it. Maybe, maybe that'll be something for next year. I'm not sure. Haven't decided, haven't looked into it, but that's my stitchy haul. Super fun, right? I thought so. Oh, and y'all, have you seen the Sunshine Stitchers latest video? Shelia got a magazine that has a freaking flamingo stocking. That's on its way, let me tell you. Those needle point stockings are going to be leaving my house because I hate them. And that flamingo stocking is going to be stitched. If you're looking for it, it's a Stony Creek magazine, just FYI. Anyways. I'm sure I will have it for next time and I will totally show it off. Okay, so I did also make a Captain America bag. Dun, 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 with pom-poms. Super exciting, right? He's He's got a different inside. He's got a brown inside. Oh, look, you can kind of see his shield through it. It's interesting. Um, and then I did make two other project bags. But we'll just segue into... No, I think we'll talk about shout outs first. Okay, so shout outs. First one is Carla and Samantha at craft underscore addict K. They, um, they were, they sat at my stitchy table at StitchCon and they are fantastic. They go on lots of adventures and they totally go and stitch at Panera. Like I want to do that. I super want to do that, but they are hoot and holler. You should go check them out. Samantha just bought a $5 stitchy chair and it's amazing for five bucks, man, girl, you scored. Um, so check them out. And then I was just watching, Oh, Pam at stitching in between the lines. I think, I think it's Pam. I'm pretty sure it's Pam. And I met you and I'm so sorry if I got your name wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Pam at stitching in between the lines. I just started, um, I subscribed to you at StitchCon, but with everything going on, I really hadn't had a chance, so my backlog was backing up. I just, like, binge-watched a bunch of your episodes. You're fantastic. I loved watching you. Um, my stitching time went a lot faster listening to you, and that quilt in your last video is fantastic. So, 
if you need somebody to watch, totally go check her out. She's amazing. Now that we're done with that, we'll get into giveaways. Are you guys ready? So it's my birthday. Well, it was my birthday. And we hit 200 subscribers, which we're kind of approaching 300. So I may have to think about a 300 one too. But right now we're just going to stick with the 200 and my birthday. So let's start with my birthday one. So my birthday one is this fantastic unicorn bag. Look at that trim that I found. Could it not be any more perfect? I'm in love with it, guys. In love with it. Not going to lie. I was almost like, hmm, maybe I should win this bag. But no. When do y'all want it? So, um, Rachel T, you run this. So I will put my Instagram handle, which is Mama Metzger, um, but I will link it in the description box along with my email. Um, get a hold of me one or both ways and give me your email or your, not your email, I can't email it to you, your mailing address. And um, I will get this out to the mail to you because it's fabulous and it needs a project in it. Maybe this one, perhaps. All right, so there's that one. Okay, the next one. I wanted to check something real fast. Okay, yes, I'm okay. Okay. I wanted to make sure I had everything on track. I do. It says it so right here. Okay. So, here's the second bag. Give you guys a look. Look how cool that fabric is. Look, Sally's going upside down on those ones, and he's perfectly centered. But that's okay, because he's upside down on the back, and she's kind of in the center. Right? And those pom-poms, guys, right? <laughs> Jeez. Just pom-poms. Pom-poms. Okay, on with the giveaway. So, Carla, you won this giveaway. Um, if you don't need to give me your address, I've already got it. I will ship it out into the mail for, to you, and I hope you enjoy it. So, fantastic, guys. Okay, so I'm super excited to send that stuff out in the mail. Um, I'm super excited for you guys to receive it. And I think that's it, guys. I really do. It's a really, man, we're like at a 12-minute episode. I normally keep you guys here for like 30 minutes. But I just don't have that much stuff to talk about. So we're going to leave it with a short video. So I guess I better do more stuff for next week. Or we're going to be with another, or in two weeks. Or we're going to have another super, super short video. All right, y'all. Well... That is what it is. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.